Dr. Walter Willett is a professor of epidemiology and nutrition and chairman of the Department of Nutrition at Harvard School of Public Health and professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. Dr. Willett graduated from University of Michigan Medical School before obtaining a doctor in public health from Harvard School of Public Health. Dr. Willett has focused much of his work over the last 25 years on the development of methods using both questionnaire and biochemical approaches to study the effect of diet on the occurrence of major diseases. Dr. Willett has published over 1,100 articles, primarily on lifestyle risk factors for heart disease and cancer, and is the most cited nutritionist internationally and is among the five most cited persons in all fields of clinical science. He is a member of the National Institute of Medicine of the National Academy of Sciences. I'm Walter Willett, and I'm chair of the Department of Nutrition at Harvard School of Public Health. Our family, uh, the Willett family, uh, for generations has been dairy farmers in, in Michigan. One area that uh, is still not totally resolved from um, epidemiologic data on long-term health consequences is dairy consumption. The fact that the majority of the world's population actually can't drink milk as adults because they're lactose intolerant does, I think, should say to us that milk, can, that milk is really not an essential part of the human diet. It's really an unusual part of the human diet. Yeah, well, cow's milk is one of the most complex, interesting aspects of nutrition because uh, milk, uh, by definition, is sort of a complete food. It's, it's amazing that a baby can have nothing but its mother's milk and, be, and grow in months and, uh, and develop. It's astonishing that that milk is so complete. Now, that's human milk, of course, and cow's milk has a different composition, but uh, that uh, milk is really meant to promote rapid growth. And that's really important early in life, but we're not supposed to be revving up our metabolic machinery to, to the highest speed all of our life. We, there's like the adverse effects of that. And also, milk does come along with a lot of unhealthy fats. So it's, uh, we know that uh, it's not going to be the optimal food in large amounts for, uh, for adults and throughout life. I think, small, again, small amounts of dairy uh, it looks like there are some special benefits of yogurt, uh, possibly because of the effect on the microbiome. Uh, but uh, a dairy-based diet overall is not going to be a healthy diet. Uh, interesting, Finland was a dairy-based diet. They had the highest heart disease rates in the world, and they worked hard to reduce uh, their consumption of dairy. Uh, butter went, it was actually about 18% of calories, and they reduced that to uh, about 3% of calories, a huge change, and instead, mostly replace that with rapeseed oil, uh, which is a healthy fat. And uh, heart disease rates long, came down 85%. Of course, some other, they were doing some other things too, promoting activity and lower salt intake and fruits and berries. But uh, the, well, virtually for sure, the biggest uh, change was reducing the role of dairy in their diet.